All right, so now I have this new project created. The first thing I want to do is create that HTML form uh, that we saw in the um, earlier slide. So I'll simply just move to the web content folder, right click, and I'll say new HTML file. And this is the actual file called hello world.xhtml. It's going to have our actual input form for our little hello world example. So I'll go ahead and click next. Um, I can choose an actual template I want to use for this file. Uh, there's a lot of templates out here. Um, it's not really important right now, but I'll just go ahead and choose a new facelit template. Uh, but don't worry about it too much because I'm actually going to delete everything that's there. Um, but I'll go ahead and hit finish right here. So then they're, they're going to give me a lot of template stuff, but I really don't need it for this uh, demo. So I'm going to simply select all of this text and uh, simply delete it right now. All right, so I've wiped that out. I'm going to drop in some code that I have um, that I had previously, uh, but don't worry, I'll actually walk through all the steps um, of the code that I'm going to drop in here. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through it. So um, on lines two through five, we actually give a reference for the JSF custom tags. Um, I'll talk more about this um, in some later videos, but JSF has a collection of tags that will generate HTML content for us automatically. So we'll make use of these um, in the uh, page here. So first off, I'll set up our HTML head section. Again, I'm using one of the HTML uh, custom tags from JSF, um, h colon head. So it gives us the normal heading and the title. Then I move on down to the actual body of the HTML page. And again, note I'm using the h colon body. That's the uh, JSF custom tag that we're using here. So now let's go ahead and set up the um, HTML form. So the little graphic I have on the screen as far as what's your name with the submit button, it's rendered by this piece of code on lines uh, 12 through 15. All right, so let me just clean up the text here for a bit, just so we can kind of walk through it and talk about it. So let me just get some extra white space and uh, slide it up on the screen a bit. All right, so I have this h colon input text. So again, h colon means that it's a JSF custom tag. This will give us an input text field. Um, the actual ID or name for the field is called name. The actual value, it's going to bind this value to a um, request parameter called the username. And then we have a colon placeholder, say actual prompt, what's your name? And then on line 16, we have a command button. So this is effectively our submit button. And the action is my response. So it'll actually submit it to this page called myresponse.xhtml. Again, with JSF, all the pages are written using .xhtml extension. And that's how this form is set up. And this is how we'll actually submit data across to uh, the actual response page. All right. So now let's go ahead and create that response page. So let me move over here in my window. Under web content, I'll say new HTML file. Uh, the actual page name or file name is myresponse.xhtml. Put the X on there. Um, I'll hit next. I'll choose one of the templates again. I'll hit finish. But again, don't worry about the template. We're going to actually delete all of this text. So I'll just go through and hit cut. And then I'll drop in some code that I had uh, previously. But again, I'll, I'll walk through each line of it here. So here we start off with just a reference for the JSF custom tags. Um, I'm really only using just one of the tags here, the H tag for HTML, um, our basic header, and then we'll set up our body. And then for the body, we're going to say hello, and we're going to give the actual username. So we say pound curly brace the username. So the act, that's the actual user that was submitted on the HTML form. And here we're actually displaying that form data. All right, so that's enough with the coding. Uh, let's go ahead and run the application. So I'll select my file hello world.xhtml and I'll choose run as, and then I'll select run on server. So this will actually run the application and we'll see a view of it right here in our uh, browser that's inside of uh, Eclipse. A couple of things to note here is that we have this hello world.xhtml and it's faces slash hello world.xhtml. So this is all being passed through the JSF faces servlet. I'll go ahead and type in the name of John Doe. Uh, I'll hit submit and then I get the response. Hello, John Doe just like the code was developed in the previous section. 
All right, so this looks good. So let's go ahead and try this in a real browser. So I'll just go ahead and copy this URL and then I'll bring up my Firefox browser and uh, check it out. So in Firefox, I'll just drop in or paste that URL and this gives me the actual form we saw earlier. I'll go ahead and type in my name, Mary Public, and then I'll hit submit. And it says, hello, Mary Public. So this is pretty good. This is all working um, as desired. Uh, so good job with our hello world. All right, so that wraps up the video. In this video, we created a hello world program with JSF. We created an input form and we created a response page and we linked everything together. Good job.